I'm super excited today because I actually have new camera gear and I haven't had new camera gear in months. I actually don't remember the last time I got new camera gear. I think it was probably January. So eight months, but I have something new. And no, it's not the Canon R5 or R6, which I do wish I also had, but I don't have those yet. What I have is in this packaging and it's coming straight from the UK. We're gonna go out and test this after I unbox it. It looks like the box took a bit of a beating in the mail. I'm terrible at unboxing. It is a brand new three-legged thing tripod. And I haven't done any of the research <laughs> to know what it's all about. So I'm going to give you the specs of it all um, out in the field. We'll go out and we'll take some pictures using the tripod. But as usual, the packaging for the three-legged thing tripod is awesome. There's a Guarana bottle there, which is like they made it for me because I love Guarana. And this one's called the Bucky, maybe after Bucky Lysak. <laughs> There's literally a plane flying overhead with one of those banners. And the banner says, please maintain social distancing in Portuguese. Awesome. Anyways, Bucky is the new tripod. Comes in this beautiful case. As usual, it comes with this awesome tool that also serves really importantly as a bottle opener. I'm gonna put the bag away. Now, the only thing I remember from what they told me about this, this is kind of like Albert of the Pro Series mixed with one of the, the Legend Series. So it packs up quite small, as you can see. It's barely bigger than my head. This is how compact it can be like that, but you have the four joints, so it will reach pretty impressive height. Is there a new head on this too? Yeah, it's got the newer head on it too, which has this awesome mechanism that lets you see the inside mechanisms. So I'm super excited to test out the new tripod, really excited to test out Bucky. It seems like it has all the features I absolutely love in the Legend series, while not giving up any of the really cool features of the Pro series. So I think it's gonna be perfect, but when it comes down to it, all the features on a tripod are useless if it's not stable. So I'm basically driving to uh, the windiest part of the Algarve. I'm going to Cabo San Vicente, uh, the lighthouse it tends to be windy there. So we'll test out the stability with some really long exposures. So if you're in the US or I guess anywhere in the world and wondering how uh, we're going on with, you know, the current pandemic, I'm almost to the lighthouse and it is packed with tourism here. Almost normal summer levels. There's just tons and tons of people uh, cruising around on bikes, walking, hiking, surfing. It is full on busy here. And it's actually really good to see. You won't hear me complaining about tourism <laughs> anymore after you know what we've all just kind of gone through. And I hope the like rest of the world that's still kind of stuck it gets back to normal soon as well. What's also normal here is it's blue skies right now. I'm 1.5 kilometers away from the lighthouse and you're gonna see as soon as we get to the lighthouse, there's clouds, like not high level clouds, but like socked in clouds. It's so busy here that the parking lot's full. I had to park on the road. And it is windy. Probably should have brought a jacket. Mm -hmm. 
so I think the clouds actually blew over so it's not like it was a second ago but a second ago it was blue sky here and like gray sky right there it's so crazy when the hot air and cold air collides here and it's so so obvious right at this spot last time I was here I photographed just over there this time I'm gonna photograph from just up here and hopefully I don't lose my hat because it is windy The wind's right at my back, so it's pushing me towards the cliff. It makes me feel a little bit, a little bit sketchy. The photo I'm trying to make as I inch towards the cliff edge is I want a photo that kind of shows the curving of the coastline leading towards that, uh, that the lighthouse. So I'm just gonna keep walking along the cliff and uh, keep using the live view on my video camera to kind of scout out that spot. It's gonna be really heavily backlit, so I might have to wait until dusk. Or, or potentially some of these clouds might help. Okay, I think this is actually gonna work. You got nice curving lines, you got the beautiful lighthouse, and it's just crazy backlit. But we're not here to make the greatest photo in the world, we're here to test Bucky. So I'm gonna get the tripod up, we'll go through some of the features, and I'll put it to the test. as I sit and wait for sunset, which is like 20 minutes away, I'm gonna kind of run you through some of the new features of this series of three-legged thing tripods. If you don't know, I'm actually a three-legged thing pro, which full disclosure, I don't get paid for. I just get free tripods, like this was free, which is awesome. And I love the three-legged thing tripods. Always have, they're just so innovative. And I think that some of the innovations to this tripod aren't brand new. They're just things they're bringing over from the Legend series to the Pro series, which is awesome because there are features to the Legend series that I prefer to the Pro series. And if you're not really familiar with the two, the Pro series is kind of like the photography series. And then the Legend series kind of started out almost, I think anyway, I might be wrong, as kind of like the video series. So they're more video centric. With the photo series, the pro series, you have a small one, a tiny travel tripod named Leo. You have a medium sized one named Albert, which is about this size. And you have Winston, which is the tripod I use. With this new series, you have a small one, which is called, oh man, what is it called? It's called Ray. Ray, after Ray Barbie, I believe. Everything's kind of named after skaters. And I only know the skaters because I used to play way too much Tony Hawk Pro Skater when I was in college. Yeah, so there's the Ray, which is a smaller version of this, and then there's Bucky, which I think is after Bucky Lysak. I think that's his name, again, a skater. And I'm kind of just gonna run you through them because I, I love everything they've done about this and all the adjustments they've made. One of them is the O-rings. So down here you have these squishy pads that make opening and closing the legs really, really easy. They've I've also removed the locking ring, which to be honest, I know it's safer, but the reality is it was kind of getting jammed up every now and then. My legs are dying. It was getting jammed up every night now and then on my tripod, especially when I was misbehaving and I wasn't like cleaning the tripod properly. The other thing they've done is see this latch here on the older ones. They used to have this thing that popped out. Then you would move the leg out and then you would pop it back in. Now it's just got this latch. And so literally you just push it in you pull the leg out and you snap it back where you want. Super easy. And then the other thing they've done is they've added a new head. This is the view, I believe it's called. And they call it that because you can actually look in and see the inner workings, the inner mechanisms of the head, which is really, really cool. So I'm stoked about Bucky and how it looks. With this wind right now, we're gonna find out uh, if it can take like one or two minute exposures. Camera's still finishing up a time lapse, uh, which I think with a time lapse, you can probably tell how stable a tripod is because if it's not jittering around, it's probably stable. I'm gonna say that normally I would take the center column out of a tripod, but on this tripod, I'm actually not. Now that we have like a house, 
I have the luxury of having multiple tripods. So when a situation's crazy wild weather, I might just take Winston out without the center column. And when it's more pleasant, I'll take out Bucky. The center column does reduce stability, which is why I take it off but it also helps the versatility. And the versatility of this tripod is what I love about it. You can actually take every single one of the legs off and use them all as monopods. Or you can add the feet to the bottom of the tripod, take out the center column and use it as a tabletop tripod. So essentially with this tripod, you can get it as low as a tabletop tripod or as high as I think nearly seven feet. When the center column is extended, it's like here. So super, super versatile. And yeah, once this time lapse is done, I'm gonna put on a 10 stop ND and try for like a five minute exposure and just see what happens. I have to say I'm getting a little bit emotional seeing everybody out here enjoying travel again, excited to be traveling again and grateful to be traveling again. Uh, it's just such a, a awesome atmosphere, seeing people taking selfies again. I never thought I would be excited to see people taking selfies again. And it, I've taken like five photos for families out here. It's just, it's so nice. Anyway, back to the photos, enough emotion. The photo is two minutes, F11. I'm using bulb mode. Somebody asked how you do bulb mode on the R without a intervalometer. There's actually a, an option and you can set whatever time you want. But if you use Canon, newer Canon cameras, you can also just use the app that, that works as well. There is wind for sure. I'm watching the tripod. It doesn't look like anything's moving. So I think we're good when you use filters like I do as well they kind of work like a wind sail and it can actually create vibrations at the front of the lens so even if the tripod's really stable sometimes wind can cause an issue regardless um, the Sun is going right behind one of these buildings now in the middle of my two-minute exposure I might end up with Sun star here and this could actually end up really cool um, 20 seconds do 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 Okay, here it is. I'm gonna look through the viewfinder actually because I find it easier because I'm getting old. Yeah, sun star, a little bit of light kissing the rocks in the foreground. The sea is totally, totally flattened out by that two minutes. And let's zoom in. It looks sharp as a penguin in a tuxedo. So I think, uh, yeah, I think this works. Sun just went down and everybody's clapping. I don't know if you can hear that over the wind. Woo! <laughs> kind of fun. It's like one of those things that you know when you used to land on an airplane and people would clap and you'd go, oh my God, it's so stupid. Why are they clapping? And now it's like, yeah, clap when you land on that airplane, people appreciate it. Special, special moment here in uh, Sagresh. I don't think the light I was hoping for after sunset is gonna happen because there's like some crazy fog rolling in right now and it's sticky. Like I, I, I'm sticky because of the condensation, it's crazy. So I'm gonna wait it out a couple more minutes and hopefully take another photo here with this composition vertical because I really like it. And if I take that photo, I'll share it with you right now. The next video will be on Sunday and I'm excited because I have another new toy. I think it's not 100% confirmed, but tomorrow I might have a new toy that has wheels and is old and is awesome. So we'll see if that happens. See you there. Peace.